All right, welcome back to Elite Force. Um, I'm almost dead. I'm gonna want to get to the medic bag. Oh, that's a transporter room. Do you want to talk to me? Brian, can I help you? Not really. Oh, yeah, I'm almost dead. I need the med, med bag. Well, I gotta head out. Got an away mission to perform. Man, I can't believe I'm getting left behind on our first mission. And an intelligence gathering mission, too. Hey, relax, Ken. There'll be plenty of other missions. Uh, yeah, Ken. They're just saving the best for last. <laughs> I know something. Let me, uh, figure, video, additional. Screen tearing, but it's really hard to solve, sadly. Jeff. Hey. Ms. Michael. Durant, yeah? While we have some extra time, I thought we'd review first aid combat protocols one more time. Thank you, Doctor, but I think I am well prepared. I did go through extensive training and testing for this position. Of course. Well, let me know if you develop any nervousness or pre mission jitters. Don't worry, Doctor. You'll be fine. Also, if you're wondering why, um, why the game has these weird, you know, bars on the side, I'm using a custom resolution, so it's full screen. It's just showing things that shouldn't be there, things like that. have to live with it for now. Maybe I'll solve it later. Who knows? My shadow is freaking out. Alright, we were already here, weren't we? Yeah, this is the briefing room. Yeah, that door's not functioning currently. Need something? Make sure you fly out the new sniper. Those scavenger guns might come in handy. They used a lithium crystal chips for a power source. Most ships use those crystals, so you should be able to find more to power the gun. The second trigger on it fires the energy grenades. Be careful with those. If you want, you can test out your weapons in the holodeck here behind me. All right, the scavenger rifle. Um, I don't need to do the testing, so I'm good. I'll just continue forward. Maybe try and find a med bay. Damn. Energize. I'm up. All set, Alex. Okay, ready to transport Team 2. Energize. Welcome to Voyager Elkar's menu system. Oh, god damn it. It broke again. <sighs> Logging off Elcar's menu system. All right, I'm waiting for them to get here. Uh, I did uh, a few changes. Hopefully, it won't, this will not happen again. I hope. We shall see. I have to wait for them to get here. I went and triggered all the triggers I had to. They're all running here now, and I got my guns. I got everything. Yep, there he goes. He's good to walk there. I'm gonna sip my coffee while I'm waiting. I got me a cappuccino today.
energize. Oh, it's a reflection in my face. All set, Alex. Okay, ready to transport team two. Energize. 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 All right, if it doesn't crash, go back to main menu. We're good, and I fixed it. It's alive. I think I found the data terminal. Just give me a minute to start the download. It's hot in here. Humid. I kind of like it. You would. You're a bolian. I wonder what those are. They look like fireflies. Foster to Monroe. We've tapped into a data terminal here and started the download. Chell found one here, too. He's accessing it now. Things and some of the controls went back. I think I'm good now. Attacking a moment ago. Same thing here. I got all I could from the data. Let's get out of here. There's a slight problem there. Whatever alarm went off must have raised this thing's shields. We can't contact Voyager and we can't beam out. We need to regroup. We've done some scans and it looks like there's a junction point in section 29. I see it. We'll meet up there and figure out how to take these shields down. Good luck. Foster out. Section 29 is through that door up there. Great. How do we get up there? This way. Move it. Right, follow the technician and keep him alive. He is the important person. He's the VIP. things. Hmm. They seem to have an isophasic signature similar to our own transporter technology. Transporters? All right, let's see. <laughs> Oh. 
that was an accident. I did not mean to jump to my death. Not gonna lie, funny. Can you guys stop blocking me in? I'm trying to get away from damage and you're just there. Please. Transporters? Alright, we can skip cutscenes with the vendor. <laughs> I'm gonna wait for this to recharge a bit before I go through there. I'm gonna try and use my phaser for a bit. Wait to charge, recharge. Phasers are not set on stun. That's the way to section 29. Okay. Oh, but there's stuff down there. Oh, but we know it's a trap. Oh.
Ooh, and helpful. Beautiful. Now I'm in a better condition. I got 1,151, 200. And Let's I'm go. Fine. Wait for me. Place. Positive. Maybe the aliens got them. Boo! Looks like our scans weren't quite thorough enough. Hey, Chell! I'm gonna jump! Catch me! Stow it, crewman. Look, Monroe, we've got to deactivate the shields before we can beam out. The data we downloaded from our console indicated there are three main sources we need to hit in order to do this. Your team should be able to take out the main computer core, through there. We'll take out the backup power systems up here. We'll meet up at the main power core and shut it down. Yes, sir. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go! Good luck, Monroe. We'll meet you at the power core. Hey, oh, Jeff, behind you! <laughs> mm-hmm. Well, that dude's a jerk. Alright. The aliens can transport rooms where the devices find and turn off the main core. Alright. Immediately saving that. Saving. Oh, what? What is that? Some kind of alien. <laughs> Another of those transporters over there. All right, let's go. Ah! Oh, no, what happened? She just disappeared. Some kind of energy field from that pod. There's no trace of Telsia. It's as if she was completely vaporized. There was nothing we could have done, Chell. We better get a move on, or we might be next. Well, we just lost one. I'm gonna go back, because there's another way I could have went. Oh, that sucks. So we're down one. Okay. Oh, 
phaser is actually decent. Take the teleporter she died for. And of course, get the crystal. I don't have to keep an eye out for those weird flowers because I got a feeling they're going to show up more often. Oh, yeah, I'm up here. That transporter down there is working now. Get ready, this might lead somewhere we don't like. Well, so far it's quiet. It's not gonna be quiet for long, no? That's it. The computer core. Be careful. satellite or something that has its own that's messing with all the ships maybe a planet i wonder if that's their home what's that it's huge looks like a space station i wonder if that thing's responsible for trapping all these ships here Space Station has some time.
or anything. Well, baby time. There must be one of those sharp things powering that energy. Take the teleporter. <laughs> Alright, now we have ammo for this again, but let's try and stick with the base. At least I Chell, it's just you and me now, and Voyager's depending on us to get this information back to them. If we fail, everyone on that ship could end up dead. Now let's go shut down that power core and get out of here. Yes, sir. Sorry, sir. We'll make it, Chell. We have to. Come on. Expect everyone to be killed on our first mission. Give me a second. Yeah, voice is all the way up. My voice was extremely quiet. I'm gonna turn the effects up just a bit. I actually I want to hear a little more of that music. All right, all right let's do this, man. You and I. It's up to us. Bunch of energy, so I wouldn't say that. Watch your fire. Yep, go over there and repair it. fix things. I see there's a computer monitor on basically all these. Let's bring the fireflies, shall we? Wait for them to start repairing that. There we go.
probably gonna try and use this for a bit. Alright, let's look around. Yeah! Oh. overwhelmed us, but I managed to get away. Now we've got to move on if we're going to salvage this mission at all. <sighs> Alright, it's blocked by a force field, so we can't go that way. Alright, sir, let's go. can do something for them if it's not too late. Come on. Find a way to shut down the alien vessel. Power <laughs> core. Alright. Eyes will top it off. Looks like I have to be able to make, make it back to half of it. Our people 
in stasis, stay alive. Our colony ship must be a sleeper ship. Long voyages. Yes, long journey. New home. Whenever we see it now, we fear. The forge has us. No escape. We're sorry for the misunderstanding. We're killing some of your people. We were only acting in oh, self defense. Yeah. We're gonna kill some of you. you have not killed. When injured, our people return to stasis. Regenerate. Your people too, not killed, in stasis. Analyzed. Those pods on behalf of my people. I apologize. We thought the vessel was abandoned. We only wanted information from your computer. We're trying to find our way out. Our knowledge is yours. Request and receive. We are allies. We will lower defenses. You may return to your vessel. Oh, okay, so this entire mission was just a giant find a way out of here. That's good. You'll get to your new home. Lieutenant, it's good to hear your voice. What happened over there? I'll explain when we get back. Let's just say we've made an ally, but we have injuries. We need to beam directly to sickbay. Stand by. Oh, look behind you. Sickbay has the wounded. We're ready to beam you back now. This ship is loud. Is he actually an evil family race? Oh man. I'm gonna have to make a note to try and block those ones. It was a difficult mission, Monroe. It looked pretty bad out there for a while. But we got the job done. Have the doctor look at you and then join me in Hazard Ops. I'll be assembling the rest of the team for debriefing. Alright. Yes, sir. Get I don't your care if your hemorrhoids are chronic. chronic. There are no medical deferments. You have hemorrhoids? Okay. What were those things? Chill. I'll be done soon, sir. Okay. Doctor. Doctor? Ah, Mr. Monroe. Your injuries seem to be rather superficial. Dermal regeneration will not be necessary. Though you have some mild skin irritation. Perhaps you would like an analgesic cream? Uh, whatever. Hey. Oh, yeah. Mm, that's some good cream. Oh, I know this. The shadows aren't crazy now. Oh, man, it's a good thing I did. Tomographic scans indicate a possible neck injury. Cranial bruising. You're lucky you didn't get a concussion. Tom. What? Want more cream? You'll need an anti-inflammatory agent for that muscle strain. I think I'll be all right, Alex. That's good. All right. So no one died. They were just put in stasis. Oh, it's back here. Hello, sir. Crewman. Can I help you? Nope. Yes. All right. Now... We can go to the med bay and get healed probably after a mission, which is nice. Alright, my little sleep. Deck 4, hazard operations. Excuse me. Sorry. So, 
How's the Oralite cobbler? Delicious, thank you. Watch it. Mr. Chen, your carnalip stew? Great, thanks. You know, you really didn't have to hand make all this for us. Well, just because you're on duty doesn't mean you should be forced to eat replicator rations. Thank you, Neelix. Watch it. Austin. Yeah. Gerard. Yes, sir. Hmm. I'm not allowed to eat because the replicator won't make me anything. All right, let's go back to the locker room. Oh, I still can't believe we were all nearly killed last time. Yeah, they missed us up pretty good. Um, well, that's not really fair. Dude, your neck we is... We didn't know what to expect. We didn't have all the information. Hey, Monroe. Alex, did you hear anything about where they're sending us next? I heard Chakotay and Tuvok talking about the scavengers. Oh, yeah? I ran into Kim. He was going over the data we brought back. He says they had some data on that machine that brought us here. Hey, Monroe. Word has it I'll be coming along on the next mission. Some kind of stealth operation? Yeah. But I'm gonna have to bring that down a bit and that down a bit. Because fancy things voices are quiet. All available hazard team personnel report to the briefing room. Yeah, dude, your neck is weird. With the information your team retrieved, we've been able to learn a few things about our situation. This is called the forge. It's generating the dampening field that keeps Voyager and the other ships trapped here. Do we have any idea what's running that thing? Or why it's here? No. The Ethereans had no detailed information about it. For all we know, it could be a simple machine. But our main concern right now is finding a way out of here. This is Isodecium, a rare isotope that doesn't seem to be affected by the dampening field. Alana thinks she can use it to get repairs done and bring main power back online. Then, hopefully, Voyager can escape. The sensor info from the Ethereans shows that there is Isodecium nearby. Unfortunately, it's located here. What is that? The Scavenger's base of operations. These are the Scavengers. A loose alliance of survivors from the other starships trapped here. They survive by raiding other ships for supplies, like their attack on Voyager earlier. The Isodecium was most likely stolen from other ships. Looks like they used some of it, but most of it is scattered around their base. They probably don't know of its energy potential. It's imperative that we get the Isodecium and get Voyager functioning again. We don't know what other surprises we'll encounter here or what that forge has in store for us. Sensors show hundreds of scavengers on that base. All races we're familiar with. Klingon, Human, Malon, and Hiroji. We were a bit outnumbered here, so we've opted for stealth infiltration and retrieval operation. They seem to have a transporter inhibitor field, so a team of five will be shuttled to the base by Ensign Paris. Once there, Ken and I will set up an extraction plan. Monroe, Telsia, and Odell will split up and retrieve three samples of the Isodesium each. When you're done, you will make your way back to the extraction point. That's it, people. Now get prepped and report to the shuttle bay. Good luck, team. All right. We're doing an infiltration mission. Infiltration and receive. Crewman. Can't you see I'm working? Oh. We just finished replicating the new compound grenade rifle. I know it's a stealth mission, but you never know what you're going to run into out there. Can't hurt to be prepared. You know, when I think of stealth, the grenade rifle right. launches a taser grenade, and the secondary launches magnetic charges. You might want to test it out in the holodeck here first. Phaser is always important. Um, yeah, give me everything. Let's actually try it. Really nice. Um, 
save it. And I call it stealth. Now I'm gonna exit for a Logging off L Carter's menu system. 